Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. This is Five Fast Knife Reviews. Now, at the end, the last two knives are knives to stay away from. I am not recommending these knives. I am recommending you not to buy these two knives. They will be the last two at the end. Now, this is the Kaiser Kyrie. K-Y-R-E. Now, this is a discontinued knife, but I do believe you can still get them. And I'll be honest, I'm impressed. This thing is amazing. It is a really good knife. I don't know why they discontinued it. Um, it is one of their older models, so maybe they're just not selling fast anymore. Maybe it's because there's not a lot of reviews on it. I don't know. But the Ergos are really good. It has that, that lean forward feeling because, you know, you can see how it kind of wraps around. The detent is very strong. Listen to this detent. It is incredibly strong. Now, because of that, lefties, yes, you can flip it, but reverse flicking, it's going to be difficult because, well, at least for me, I'm not a lefty, but I think you'd lock yourself out. And it does have a reversible clip, but I recommend it mostly for righties. But in that case, man, this detent is nice and heavy, nice and strong really reliable the drop on or sorry the access to the lock bar is really good the machining is insane you can access the lock bar really easily and it's not false shut but you just give it a little bit of influence man that detent it sucks this knife right in you just give you can give it one good little slap and it'll slap forward nice and centered nice big hardware the jimping on it's really good like I said, the ergos are good, but it does lean forward into the cuts, which a lot of times can benefit your cutting. So the clip works great. Amazing, amazing knife. Next. Now tonight, speaking about the Chavez Redencion, um, we're going to be talking about dual grinds tonight in tonight's live. We do lives every Wednesday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Needs Knives Live every Wednesday and Saturday, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Please join us. We'd love to have you. And we're going to be talking about dual grinds tonight. Um, it, uh, not the whole whole show, but, you know, it's going to be one of the segments. So this is M390. I do have this in for sharpening. That's why you see that little mark right there. It did take an incredible edge. Very, very toothy. Ooh, very sharp. This thing's got a lot of bite. Access to the lock bar is really good. Stupid smooth. The detent is pretty strong. I think the, the owner wants me to uh, possibly tune the detent a little bit easier. I like it, though, with a strong detent because it's only going to loosen up more and more as time goes on. It is heavy, though. You want to keep your fingers off the lock bar. That is one thing I've noticed about all the Chavez knives I've tried. They all have very heavy detents. So what you want to do when you flick it is keep this. Keep Don't put any pressure on this lock bar. Put your pointer finger here, your middle finger back here, and it works great. Or float your middle finger meaning like don't don't put pressure like this just float it and as long as you're hanging on down here with these fingers it works great i can even reverse flick it but it does have a heavy detent the ergos are really good um the cutting performance is really good you're going to get all the hard use out of the tip you know prying scraping stabbing and then all the slicing right here through this area that's nice and thin with this nice deep hollow ground blade or hollow ground flat section, nice choil, beautiful stonewashed titanium, build quality is amazing because Riat does it. Now, one thing I really like about this knife is there's no milling, and I appreciate that. Not saying I want all knives to not be, you know, have any weight relief put in, but I like it sometimes when I get a knife that gives me a little bit of weight. I feel like there's, um, like it's, it's a tough tool. It's strong. It can handle anything I throw at it. And sometimes taking and putting too much weight relief in a knife, in my opinion, sometimes makes it feel cheap. And in this case, it makes it feel, you know, expensive, hard use, and all those other good deals. Um, now, the clip. Some people don't like the clip. I believe they're about to offer a different clip so you don't have to use the skull clip, at least on the new models. But, yeah, I like it a lot. I've always liked this knife. Great knife. Next, we have this is the Concept Stellar Matt Degnan Design S35VN Titanium. Nice big hardware. The action is really good on it. It does have a utility style blade. Now, 
in my opinion, this knife is not meant to be held like this. It's, you can do it. I mean, it's not a problem, but I don't believe this is how it's meant to be held. I believe it's meant to be held like this or like this. Because think about if I had a box right here. Now I need to open up the top. I hold it like this. Top, sides. If I need to go around the other side like this, it literally works really good like this. And it's comfortable. It works good. And it has the blade shape for it. So in my opinion, that's the only thing I could come up with. And when I tested it out, that's how it worked best. That's not saying you can't slice with it. Like I said, use the middle finger in the in the choil right here. And then use the pointer finger over the flipper tab. And it works great. You can slice with it. But Holding it back here, just not a lot of grip length, at least for my hands. But yeah, like this, if you're opening boxes up all day or cutting plastic and things, man, this thing works really good. The clip works really good in and out of the pocket. Fantastic titanium milled clip. Beautiful, beautiful stone wash. Decent geometry. Got a little something on the tip. Nice jimping. And yeah. Uh, bead blasted finish on the titanium. Access to the lock bars decent or really good. Nice drop shutty action. I mean, it's not false shut, but very smooth on the drop. It has ceramic bearings and a ceramic detent. So there you guys go. Next, we have the Brown Knives Cortex V2. Now, this knife reminds me of, or at least the CNC quality and build on it, reminds me of Holt knives, Holt Haptic, Holt Scepter, because of all this CNC machining. I mean, it's just done so, so incredibly well. Even the flipper tab, it falls into the lock bar. That's crazy. Um, the action on it is insanely good. It does have like a reach around uh, flipper tab. It's a unique flipper tab. Fall shut action. The hole on it, yes, it's very small and uh, discreet, but it works so good. This little hole works better than a lot of big holes. And the reason why is because it's sharp on the edge. It's literally sharp on this edge which makes it where it easily snags your finger so you have no trouble using it and yeah i definitely like that especially since it's so small the stone washing is like a mirror stone wash you can see there's my uh, mic arm from a microphone now i was going to do a full review on this but i have already sharpened it um the owner said i could do a full review on it but after doing a full sharpening I don't want to waste the edge on testing or anything like that. Sorry, the mirror like really uh, messes with the camera, but it did take a nice edge. Now, the one complaint that I do have on this knife is I'm not a big fan of CPM 154. Why am I not a big fan of CPM 154? Well, I do like 154 CM. I'm just not a big fan of uh, CPM 154. The more I deal with it, the more I've sharpened it, the more I've tested it, I'm just not a big fan. It doesn't take the best edge. That's one thing. Okay, let me let me let me back up. It takes a good edge, but only at a low grit. Like say a 600 grit on CPM 154 is like a thousand grit, if not higher on any other steel or on another steel. So you want to sharpen it at a very low grit. Now, even at a very low grit, a very aggressive grit, it doesn't have nowhere near the bite. I, now, don't get me wrong. It's very sharp. It's hair shaving sharp. It does have quite a bit of bite. But with this low of a grit, you would expect it to have it. A very, very rocky edge, you know, like, <laughs> like a very, uh, very aggressive, aggressive edge. But it's really, it's not. I mean, yes, it's sharp. Yes, it has bite. But, you know, that's one of the reasons why. Now, I'm not saying that it's a bad steel, and if you like it, that's awesome. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the steel. I'm just saying that, you know, I prefer uh, a steel that, that takes a little bit more bite on the edge as you go up in grit. In this case, you ha in my opinion, you, you should use a low grit on this steel. And I'm not saying any steel that does take a low grit better than a high grit is bad. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying particularly CPM 154, it's even lower than other steels that would do good at a low grit. Anyways, I'm beating a dead horse. I'm sorry, guys. 
The micarta is really nice. The clip works really good. Um, nice big hardware all the way around, even on the lock bar insert. Look at that. Nice big hardware. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Great knife, man. I really do like these. Oh, here's the card, by the way. Did I not show that? next okay so now here we're getting to the bad ones now this next one is one of the bad ones do not buy this knife stay away from this company and i want to say it is a dylan mallory design i'm not knocking dylan mallory i like dylan Mal mallory's designs however the company did not do his design any justice it's the company's fault not his we have with armor a dylan mallory design d2 at 61 hrc ha yeah right that's laughable. This did not sharpen up very good at all. Not even very good. Didn't sharpen up good whatsoever. The steel, I don't know if it's not D2 or if it's just a, a crap heat treat. But there are so many things wrong with this. One, look at the lockup. 105%. Two, lock, rock, central. And you cannot fix it. You cannot fix the lock, rock issue. Next. Detent lash. Oh, well, here, I'll just show you. Very bad detent lash. Next, the clip. <clears throat> Springiest clip ever. It'll basically, you'll lose your knife. The hardware sucks. The only thing that was good on this knife is the action, but it's a dangerous knife. It's a dangerous knife. This thing's going to fail on me. The lock bar is just ready to go on this side, and it has plenty of room to, to fit in next to the blade over here if it goes all the way over so yeah not a good knife and they did not do any justice for dylan mallory's designs now dylan mallory does deal with better companies now oh i can feel this thing when i just push right here that it's going forward yeah stay away from this company i don't know if they have any knives that are any good but in my opinion this this just told me everything i needed to know about this company I'd rather buy an M-Tech with armor. Stay away. Now, we're going to do one more. I know there was six knives in this list, but I do want to show you this next one. I do not remember the name of it, but if you see this knife anywhere, close that page out and run. Because they do disguise this knife as other knives. I, so that's why I'm not even going to say the name. Honestly, I don't remember the name because that's how crappy it is. But they disguise it as other names. So stay away from it. It's fake steel. The steel's not real, at least from the testing that I saw that LTK did on the same knife. It was not real D2. And it did not, I think it was like 5CR or something. The edge did not, I mean, it sharpened up. Uh, so it at least has a heat treat, but not good. Um, and this thing will fail 100%. It will fail. Um, two, uh, let's just go through all the bad things. The worst detent lash ever. You can see the next, the tip pops out of the end. There's a chip right here. This is how they, they sent this to me. The company sent this to me. If I smack the back of it or if I check for lock play, it will fail. It cut me in the unboxing. Um, the fit finish, everything is just so bad on this thing. Everything is wrong with this. Even though, like, if this was done well, like, if this was done by another company, this would be an awesome hard-use knife. It has a nice hollow ground, a thick hollow ground blade, so it has more of a harder-use grind. It has a nice big stop pin. And the action is actually pretty good, aside from the detent lash. But it's just everything else is so wrong with this. And it's about 10 pounds, <laughs> which I'm not saying weight is bad. I'm not saying because it's heavy, it's bad. It's just, it's horrible. Lock stick. Um, nothing was right on this thing. Nothing. Not one thing was good on this thing. Aside from the nice big stop pin. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's horrifying. So if you guys see a knife that looks like this on the internet, run away. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.